Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 player review on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 87 rated SBC Diabala. So this card was actually re-released. It was first originally released on the 21st of December as part of one of the um, foot, um, foot Christmas um, SBCs. But now they re-released his card because he was one of the most popular SBCs of this FIFA. So if you'd like to go and complete this SBC on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4, it will set you back around 110,000 coins. Um, but if you do want to, you know, you're not too sure whether or not you want to do the SBC on Xbox, I'd recommend picking up his inform card first. His 87 rated inform card goes for around 130,000 coins. So, you know, if you're not too keen on it, you can sell it again and get your coins back. But on PlayStation, sadly, his 87 rated inform card goes for around 190,000 coins. So I wouldn't really recommend doing that. So if you're not too sure whether to do the SBC on PlayStation, I just wouldn't recommend doing it because you don't, you know, you don't really want to waste 110,000 coins on a card you're not going to use. So getting into his first pro, what is his dribbling? This guy's dribbling is honestly incredible. He keeps it so close to his feet and body when dribbling it. And when he's at, you know, full speed, there's basically no stopping him unless you're fouling him. You know, his dribbling is honestly that good. One of the best dribblers I have used this FIFA. Getting into his next pro, what is his finesse shots? Now, if you're in the box, I would always recommend it, you know, finessing, taking the finesse shot with it, Diabala. Because 9 out of 10 times, it will fly past the goalkeeper, you know, into the top corner. As long as it is on his stronger foot. Now, getting into his first con, what is his weak foot? His weak foot is honestly horrific. Even though it says he's got a 3-star weak foot, what is okay, I guess. Um, in game it feels like a one star weak foot honestly he never really dribbles with his right foot never if you know you're in the box even if you take a shot with his right foot most of the time you know it's going to go wide it is honestly that bad so remember you know every single time you're in the box just take it with his left foot try and get onto his left foot you know you're not really going to score too many goals on his right foot so that's one thing you know what's pr quite a big con about the card but getting into his next pro what is his finishing again just as I said um, as long as it's on his left foot, he will finish 9 out of 10 times in the box. His finishing is that good, as long as it's not on his right foot. And then the final con I could find with this card was his strength. He's not very strong. Um, he'll get pushed off the ball quite a lot. But as long as you know you can get up to that top speed very quickly, he can usually you know, out-sprint most defenders. So guys, um, getting into his key stat now, what is 91 finishing? He has a medium, medium work rates. What for a striker isn't the best, but in-game it honestly just felt like he had high-low work rates or high-medium work rates. He didn't really make much of a difference to his positioning and of course he has the four star skill moves and three star weak foot so guys this has been the review if you have enjoyed it don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time